Okay, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Lil C. You know what I'm saying? I'm back with another video. For those who are new, um, I do Christian rap music, uh, sing a little bit here and there. Um, I plan on doing some more things with that in the future. Lord willing that it comes to pass. Um, but today I'm talking about how to have a more uh, successful marriage or, or a better marriage per se when i say a successful marriage i'm not speaking on um what we do together to make money or a uh, financial gain um more so um are we thriving together in the sense of taking care of children are we loving one another properly um yeah stuff like that so um marriage has more benefits than um, just money. Um, thank the Lord that I've been blessed with a relationship that we are at least stable enough to sustain, um, rent payments and, um, food and taking care of our children, being able to buy them clothing, shoes, things of that nature. I thank the Lord for that. But, um, it is more that goes with a marriage. It's the more that goes with a marriage that keeps it together. Financial stability is just something that's there. So now that I have got the uh, financial things out of the way, um, a lot of marriages do um, divorce because of financial reasons. Um, but... It's like, it's hard for me to speak on that when um, we've, we've been in this journey together. So um, I, get, I might get mad at myself for not being able to provide the way that I want to financially, you know, um, but I do bring things to the table uh, as a husband. So, uh, you know, like helping with my children, with my children. And why I say helping is because men, we tend to focus on so many other things, if that makes sense. We, we tend to focus on how can I get it? How can I do, you know what I'm saying? A real man. So, um, but I've also been taking this time because you know, me just recently quitting my job because I I I want to get into that in another video, but um yeah, I just wasn't treating myself correctly and I wasn't um fully present. So then once the next thing come around, I I should be more focused. So um Yeah, man. it's just, um, yeah, financial is a good is a big reason why a lot of marriages crumble. Um, money is tangible; it's a tang it, it it comes and goes. So, um, you know, I, I I really don't think that that should be a reason for separation. But if whatever floats your boat, if that's what you want to do, then. I mean, I don't think it's godly either, but, um, you know, I understand. So, um, the Bible teaches that marriage has many benefits, um, including, uh, you know, raising children is one benefit of being married, you know, uh, and providing a safer and healthier home environment for your children. So like in the beginning, we was going through so many, so many emotions because things was happening. And, um, you know, almost to the point where I lost, I could have lost my family. Just long story short, maybe in the future, if my videos get grow, um, maybe I could we could sit down and speak on it, but right now I just don't think it's 
right for me to just bear everything and um but it's it's to help others learn from our mistakes so um yeah i just wasn't patient um i was good at first but then something had happened that was traumatic and then i just fell into the deep end so um yeah just just having that middle ground of communication and you know, being able to communicate, I've came a long way with that. Like just understanding, you know, communication is big. You have to pause everything else and communicate with your partner. Like this is what's going on. This is what's wrong with me. You feel me? Like this is how I'm going. This is how I feel about this happening. You know what I'm saying? So we could possibly get some help if we need it or whatever the case may be. So. I had a struggle with that, you know, being able to communi communicate effectively. So, I got like gas, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You ate something and then you trying to make a video. Like, bro, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, um, procreation, you know, marriage is a way to create children who are considered a, a blessing from God, which they are. And, you know, for a long time, I, I couldn't see it that way. You know, um, for some reason, like, I used to love kids when I was growing up. Like, um, I grew up, you feel me, 10, 11, 12 siblings. Um, but my, my dad, you know, long story short, he was with a girl that, you know, her son was a certain type of way. Uh, their relationship was a certain type of way. My relationship with, their, with her kids was a certain type of way. And um, I had just grew a disdain for children. Like I, I, so it carried on into me having children. But you know, as of late, you know, I've been becoming a better father mentally and um, just trying to structure myself in the Lord to where I do have a, a amazing love for my children. You know, we we've gone through th things together, even though they're so young. Like, you know, we've been through a lot together. So, you know, I, I try to, you know, make sure they have a smile on their face, make sure they got what they need, and even make sure that they have an understanding uh, of growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I feel like I'm building that. So that's, these are just like things to just be aware of. I wouldn't necessarily say you can look at it as tips because I'm going to piggyback on some of the things that I'm saying. Um, so, yeah. Partnership. Um, it's a marriage is a partnership where God designed differences to be beneficial. And, um, you know, that's self-explanatory. A lot of things... Um, a lot of relationships, the part we are different, but it could, it could, that those differences can come together and work because like Christina is like, I'm funny, but she's goofy. You feel me? She, she like to, like to play with me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like joke around on me a lot. You feel me? I'm more so just funny. She is trying to get on my nerves for real. So, but it is it, it balances me out. Sometimes I look at it like, like, come on, bro. But then sometimes it be like, man, this girl is goofy. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a balance there. Like it doesn't get on my nerves to a point where I'm like, oh my God, bro, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But it is is it's cool. You feel me? It, it evens our relationship out. Like where I'm not always the one that's being funny or she's not always the one being goofy. Like we, and when I say goofy, it's more so doing things to antagonize you in a funny way. So, you know, it's, it's not done with evil intention. You feel me? So, you know, I like that about our relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, She's more reserved. I'm more outspoken. Again, these are differences that are beneficial because I know when to step up and I know when to step back just from being with her. 
You feel what I'm saying? So, what happened? I hit the space bar. Okay. Social order. Marriage is a way to serve God and contribute to a healthy society. Um, Exactly. And I, I could feel that because like when we go out in public, um, you know, people look at us a certain type of way just off the simple fact it's not even because of my jewelry it's not even because of the shoes i wear the clothes i wear it's is they more so looking at my family unit and how we are together like they see the kids we get compliments all the time you know with our children they be like man they so good and we always be you know we be parents you like when they want to be and stuff like that because you know we know the real them it's not saying that anybody doesn't, you know, that people don't know the real them. It's just that's how parents talk. But, um, yeah, they are good children. It's just things we know them personally. So we know what they need to work on, what, you know, what they got, you know, what they got going on. We know what they got going on. So, um, yes, you know. People can see the direction that we going with our children when they meet us. So, um, and you know, we make them aware about things that's going on in the world, even at a young age. It's good to talk to your children because they might see things and not understand it. You see what I'm saying? And it's your job, no matter if they're able to talk and walk and they've showed you they can understand little things it is time to get them to understand what is what is going on in front of them. Do not have your children out here walking blind in this world because that's what leads the devil to enter in. Um, you want your children to be able to talk to you. Um, your children shouldn't have to, they all in the, off in the room and can't talk to you because you always putting them off. No, hear what your children have to say, ask them, is anything wrong? Is every, is everything okay? Ask them. You feel what I'm saying? Because that is very vital and important for your, for your child so they can grow up and be the confident person that they supposed to be and not always scared of you or, oh, I got to hide and, you know what I'm saying, I can't talk to my daddy, I can't talk to my mom. Your children should be able to talk to you. And that's something that we're working on with our children now you know, because again, we've been through a lot of things and a lot of past drama and, you know, now as us, you know, finally taking it has supposed to be and, you know, really just trying to be the best parents that we can be. So, um, let me see. We know companionship. Uh, marriage is a way to find intimate companionship and mutual support. Um, selflessness. Marriage is a way to learn to sacrifice personal desires for the benefit of the partnership. And that is what I'm working on right now. Because, um, you know, having this job, it was stressing me to the point, child, like literally, like I'm, I'm an honest man because I'm trying to give you an understanding. I was drinking a lot and I was falling into lust a lot working at this job. You say, how, hey, Carl, when you supposed to be, you supposed to be this, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Um, stress. Stress was pulling me into mindsets of paying attention to things that I shouldn't. Um, entertaining things that I shouldn't. Entertaining people that I shouldn't, that I should care less about. Um, for example, I had moments, it, it, it was women, you know, women come up to me like, yeah, like, man, now, nah, like, making it seem like she just so sexually into me and aroused and, um, like, oh, I just love, you know what I'm saying, type situation. And I just, I had to tell her, like, for I'm not doing my wife like that. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I just can't do her like that. So it, it was situations like that that was just trying and testing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. It's been a long, excuse me. 
it's been a long journey so yeah and i finally felt like i got to the point where um you know i left the job and you know that's not really the full reason why i left but me drinking and um falling into lust was a big part and anger because they was pissing me off on purpose like literally so um yeah and working with some i guess white people um they like to antagonize people you know what i'm saying so and i, I don't want to make it a, 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 a people of color thing um but yeah that was that so I'm a piggyback off of those things that were said. And um, the Bible speaks on thing, these things. Love, according to the Bible, is, uh, let's go straight to the Bible. We're not going. So, in the King James Version, it says, Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself, which means uh, I like to know what things mean, so excuse me for that. Boast or praise, especially excessively, to boast or brag, um, is not puffed up. Do not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not. Her own is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Okay. So, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into that. Me. We're gonna dig a little deeper into that. Let's see. But we talking about real love. We not talking about you just falling for the first thing that come to your mind, the first person that come around. You feel me? When I met my wife, um, I, I was a dog. You feel me? And saying that I was just doing whatever. Um, this is what I was looking for. Love. Wow. Don't you hate when you got something on, on the computer, then when you click the link, uh, Love it, and then it go to something else. But love is patient. Love is charitable. Love is not envious. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the... This, I, I know what I'm looking for. I just want to say it. Um, I just want to say it correctly. can't find what I'm looking for, y'all. But love is blameless. That's what I want to, um, that's what I want to, um, that's what I'm looking for. Anybody that can find that scripture, because I don't know the scriptures by heart, excuse me, but I just know certain things that it says for sure. Um, So yeah. Now, uh, uh, that is a that is a big thing because we all make mistakes. When you love someone, you're not looking at their mistakes. Like my grandma had an unconditional love. Like no, no matter what I did, she still loved me. So that is that is important when it comes to love. Um, also, what you wouldn't do to yourself, you shouldn't do to your wife. Um, saying and, and the way that you treat her you know what i'm saying um 
Now, when it comes to sub wives submitting yourselves unto your husbands, um, it, 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 when it comes to that, it got to be a man of God. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I got my own desires and, you know, like corn, watching corn and all that and bringing that into the relationship, no, you don't have to submit to that. If I'm smoking weed and then I'm going to pass you the whoop, you ain't got to submit to that. If I got the bottle and I'm an alcoholic and I want you to come on over here, you ain't got to submit to that. And again, like I said, that 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 is a big reason why I had left this job. Like I was doing stuff that, you know, was contradicting my walk and my faith. And it was just the environment. Like I just couldn't no longer serve. I couldn't no longer serve that environment. So, um, yeah, man, a lot of things we worked on is, you know, communication, um, speaking to each other effectively, knowing how to talk, you know, and, and not just, it's all my feelings, this is how I feel, and this, this is what's going on. No, speaking from a place of understanding, um, just creating that foundation, that friendship as well, like, Sometimes you also have to create a distance saying, okay, we didn't engage in everything with each other now. Okay, I got moments I might get off into recording or um, playing the game, you know, I'm just doing, you know, stuff like that. Uh, um, helping the kids with their work and stuff like that because we um, homeschooling them. So, you know, I just come in and then, and then okay boom but then we still also have a time that we talk together spend time together you feel what i'm saying so um yeah just creating that friendship and no marriage is beyond uh fixing god could work on anything i was a wretched man i'm telling you but like literally like i'm not just saying that because it, it say that in the bible like folks i was dirty a dirty dog like i said with um lust i wasn't i'm not necessarily a cheater you see what i'm saying but in the past you know i was doing stupid stuff talking to exes and um doing that they ain't even knowing that i'm married type situation you see what i'm saying so that's what i'm saying you feel me it, and it, it, it took a lot of letting go of the past as well like yeah man like that hindered us from growing a lot um what else can i say being able to change as well like a lot of men ain't able to change folks like a lot of men be like man i'm not changing for no woman who out the band like bro like change is a big part of because most women they ain't doing they only doing stuff because you doing it so you know it's like man like a lot of stuff i had to change personally smoking drinking a lot of things so masturbation a lot of perversion and just evil wickedness that I just had in my heart and in my mind, you know, I had to change those things. And um, I've also had experiences that is piggybacking off of what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, that, that made the change needed, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I know I'm kind of everywhere with this video, but you know, those are things that is the, like the tip of the iceberg with marriage. You know, being able to change, um, not falling out of love. Every day you have to choose your partner. You know, that's another thing. Every day you have to choose your partner. People say, man, why should I have to do that every day? Because you, 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 after a while you start getting on each other's nerves. So now you have to, that's when you have to take a break on doing certain things um, per se sexual relations and stuff like that you got to take a break from that handle some business uh still communicate but uh 
fill in the blanks. Like, read the word. Uh, you know, just have topics like this that you talk about and, you know, look at things in the world that you talk about and, what the heck is that? And stuff like that. So, you know, I don't know. It don't never get to the point where I be like, uh, the only time, and see, I've noticed that, that when, when, when stupid stuff come in my mind is because I'm worrying too much. Like, sometimes I worry about, even though I got a little money, I ain't got no job. So, and it's things that I be wanting. So, I get a little frustrated. You feel what I'm saying? I get a little frustrated because I'm not able to get what I want at the moment. You see what I'm saying? So um, it brings things in my mind, but I'm I'm self aware, so I can see when it when it's happening. Boom! All right, that. So it's because I'm stressing out a little bit. I'm a little bit too worried about what's going on. You feel me? So um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. It's just the tip of the iceberg. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. I can't really, I can't really think of nothing else to talk about. But um, yeah, communication, keeping intimacy um, alive in your relationship. Don't get too bored, and that's why uh, you got to cancel out the, the 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 past experiences you had. Um, cause if that's the case, then go back in the past and go get that, um, porn, take that out of the equation because that just opened the door to a whole nother line of stupidity. You feel what I'm saying? So expecting somebody to do, do those things and they not even, they not a hoe and all that, man, bro, you, and I'm just telling you how it is. You, you, you barking up the wrong tree with it. So, um. Just allowing God to be the head, basically. I keep looking over here because I'm looking directly at the screen, but not looking at the camera. But um, yeah, man, just allow God to be the forefront, and, and you'll be all right. Because if you if you in a relationship and you can't look at God as the as the head, then you in the wrong relationship, and that's the point that I'm trying to make. Stop getting married if you're not going to have Jesus Christ and his word as the forefront. People say, God, don't talk about homosexuality. We're going to close with that. Um, We're going to end with that. So, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Um. Now, y'all like, oh, well, ain't nobody gay getting put to, put to death. That's okay. Um, <laughs> you know, God is full of grace and merciful. That is uh, Leviticus 18, 22. So there we have it. So, you know, if anybody wants to chime in and call Carl gay, well, that's what I believe. Um, yeah, so I'm not an advocate for gay marriage. You can cancel that. You know what I'm saying? No matter. Let's say. Let's say I I I desire the man. It doesn't make God's word wrong. It makes me wrong. So, you know, I don't. I'm not even caring about what people got to say about me, but. Something came upon me to put that out there. God does not condone in same-sex marriage. It speaks clearly. 
If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, we know what we know. It ain't talking about uh, telling a lie. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? We know he ain't talking about if he lie with you. You you know what he's talking about. We not finna play stupid because we wanna play. We wanna play the stupid game. Because if you look up lie in Merriam-Webster Dictionary, to be or to stay at rest in a horizontal position. This is what it says. It's a verb. You feel me? Come on, bro. To assume a horizontal position, often used with down, like lie down. To reside temporarily, stay for the night, um, to have sexual intercourse, use with, with, to remain inactive, as in concealment, to be helpless or defenseless state, <laughs> to be or remain in a flat or horizontal position upon a broad support, to have direction, extend. See, I like to read what words mean because we think it means uh, just lying. That's the second noun that is used. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But lie means to lie down. Like, open a dictionary. So, you know, we don't play the stupid game over here. So, that's my video for today. Um, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and I'm glad that I got to end this video with that because I don't know what people think about me. I don't care, but it's like to think that I am in support of worldly things like the white Jesus and, um, I'm not saying Jesus is white or black, but I know that that image, those images that are given to us are not God when, um, Let me see. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, a graven image, or any like likeness of anything that is in, a, in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. See, y'all, it, it, these things come with a uh, understanding. A carved, repre a, a graven image is a carved idol or representation of a God used as an act of worship. That's why I don't believe those things. So, I thank the Lord for opening my eyes at least a little bit. If my eyes is this open, they're open. I love Jesus Christ. Um, I might not express that outwardly as much as I should, but I'm working on it. Lord, I ask you to watch over and deliver us all, me from making this video and those who are watching it from any sin that is, you know, trying to come upon us. Lord, I thank you for those who have watched these videos and Lord, just help my video reach out. In Jesus' my name I pray, amen. So, this is another video from your boy Lil C. Back over whooping as I do, overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? And I thank y'all. Please like, share, subscribe, comment if you have any rebuttals or not even necessarily rebuttals. Like if you just want to comment, like piggyback off of something that I'm saying because I'm not doing arguing and um talking about me and all that. I ain't got time for that in this video, so if you got something good to say, please put it in the comment. Otherwise, it'll be deleted or even talked about in the next video. You feel what I'm saying? So, I thank y'all, man. It's your boy Lil C. I'm out. Peace.